Do you want to quit? Do you want to die already? For you live in the darkest hour of your life and no one knows that you are there. You cry for help, but nobody has heard you. You look unto God, but God is angry towards you and you think that He will never help you for the cause of your suffering is your sin. There is no light, there is no hope, there is no escape and you wish the day of your death. But remember, my friend, God's love is permanent and His compassions fail not. Your friends may forsake you, but God will never forsake you. Don't die now. What can you profit with a rope? Your life is more precious than a rope. Your future is bright. Israel was just like you are now, punished, disciplined by God because of their sins, idolatry, and rebellion. God used Nebuchadnezzar and Babylon to punish them on 586 BC. They lamented, Jeremiah lamented, like you are now. And Jeremiah said in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 18, My strength and my hope is perished from the Lord. They were hopeless, just like you are. But you know what Jeremiah said? Lamentations 3, 21, But this I recall to my mind, Therefore, have I hope? Wow! He remember the good things from the Lord. Christians, my brothers, when you are under the discipline of the Lord and you are suffering, it is better for you to remember the good things from the Lord and gain hope than recall the pain and suffering and remain in despair. This is the reason why God has given us a memory to remember the benefits which we have received from Him in the past. Use your memory wisely. It will give you hope. He said, But this I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. Now what did he remember? First, the loving kindness of God. The Bible says, It is of the Lord's mercies or loving kindness that we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. Now that word loving kindness there, is from the Hebrew word chist or hist. Now that is loving kindness. What is loving kindness? According to Ralph David, loving kindness is like this. It is not merely love, but loyal love. It is not merely kindness, but dependable kindness. It is not merely affection, but affection that has committed itself. That's why no matter how evil Israel may become in the past, the Lord still loved them because His love made a commitment to love them for all eternity. This is the reason why God did not completely destroy Israel. His love for them is permanent and no one can change it. Christian who suffer the discipline of God. God's love for you is permanent. You are a chosen person and God will always fulfill His promise of love to you. He may discipline you now, but in the future, you shall arise and avail the blessings from His love. So don't give up. Don't die now. Don't use a rope to end your life. What can you gain from that thing? Nothing. That's the first thing, loving kindness. The second thing which Jeremiah remembered is the compassions, compassion of the Lord. In verse 22, the Bible says, It is of the Lord's mercies or loving kindness that we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. Now, what is compassion? No, I like this word compassion. Compassion means, uh, from the Hebrew word racham, it means it is to feel another's pain so deeply that you are moved to do something about it. From Latin, com means with, passio means to suffer. Now, compassion means to suffer with those who are suffering. And then you are moved to do something about their suffering, to help them. Now, this is the paradox in the story. God punished Israel because of their sins using Nebuchadnezzar and Babylon. Babylon and Nebuchadnezzar torment, destroyed Israel and the people in it. When these people cried, the Lord felt their suffering. And God was moved to do something about their suffering to help them. 
That is compassion of the Lord to Israel. That's the love of the father to his children. My friend, you're broke because of your debts. Somebody left you because you are cheating or you were cheating. God will help you. God will heal your heart. God will heal your relationship. Only thou return to him. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will forgive you. Repent and he will forgive you. He will hear you and he will heal your land. Do not say that God is merciless. The fact that you are still alive is a great evidence that God loves you and has mercy towards you. You still have your wife. You still have your children. You still have something you love. So don't say that God does not love you anymore. And do not say that, oh, this pain, this discipline is a great evidence that God does not love me. Wrong. For the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, for whom the Lord loves, he chasteneth. Whom the Lord loves, he disciplines. Because God does not want us to walk in the path that leads to death and destruction. He wants us to live in the righteous path that leads into life. Actually, that pain, that discipline, that pain, that discipline is a protection from destruction. Maybe you ask me, can he still forgive me? Yes, he can still forgive you. I will tell you a story. I heard a man before I preach. He stood up and gave a testimony of his problems and sufferings in the past. He said there was a moment in his life that, oh, he wanted to die. He caught his wife having a love affair with other guy on their bed. He wanted to kill them both, but he feared God. <sighs> then after my message, I asked him, Kuya, where is your ex-wife now? He said, in my house. I was shocked. I, I Perhaps I heard him wrong. So I asked him again, Kuya, where is she now? He said, her guy left her. And she returned to me asking forgiveness. And I forgave her. Oh, I can't believe what I had heard from him. So I asked him again, do you still love her? He said, Yes, I still love her. Anyways, she is my wife. Oh, Christians, this is the love of God. This is the compassion of God to His children and to us, His wife, His church. Yes, we sin. But if we return to Him, though He is angry, if we return to Him, he will always forgive us because first, His love is permanent. Second, His compassions fail not. No matter how great our sins are, oh, it cannot consume the greatness, the number of God's mercies. This is what Paul says in Romans chapter 5, where sin abounds, grace abounds more. And you know what? You cannot make the compassions, the love of God old. It is always fresh new every morning. The Bible says in chapter 3, verse 23, they are new every morning. They are new every morning. Today you sin. If you ask forgiveness, the Lord will forgive you. Tomorrow, the compassion of God is new again, fresh. If you sin and you ask forgiveness from the Lord, He will still forgive you. That is the compassion of the Lord. It is always new. You cannot make it old. You cannot consume it because no sin is greater than the love of God for His chosen people. Now, Jeremiah, looking at that loving kindness, looking at that compassion, he concluded, Lord, great is thy faithfulness. That is the reason. He said, great is thy faithfulness. Looking at the loving kindness of God and the compassions of God that does not fail. He said, truly, the Lord is dependable. The Lord is trustworthy. Yes, He might be angry towards me now, but I can still depend on Him. I can still trust Him to help me in my cause, in my suffering. He will not cast me off forever. 
Great is thy faithfulness. Looking at his troubles because he remembered the goodness of God, troubles became thanksgiving. Problems became praises. Great is thy faithfulness. So Christians, when you are suffering now under the discipline of God's angry hands, remember his goodness. You can still trust him to help you though you are broke because of your debts, though somebody left you because you are cheating, though you are crying now because of your wrong decisions, the cause of your sufferings are your sins. But if you return to God, He will always help you because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. His love is permanent. Don't die now. Your future is bright in Jesus Christ. God loves you. Thank you very much for watching. This is the Truth Bible Program. Now, if you are blessed with the message, please subscribe to our channel and also please like our FB page. And also, if you want to be saved, if you want to get saved from the punishment of your sins, I request you to watch this video because this is helpful to save you from hell. A, B, C of salvation. Okay, etc, etc. Now, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you subscribe to our channel and share this video to others that they might be blessed also. This is the Truth Bible Program.